Okay, this is going to be a real cursory introduction for those of you that can't wait and need to get going using that dynamic. So um, we will see that once you've gotten the habit of putting things with the at and making sure that you always look down at the command line, you're going to be free to go ahead and draft with the dynamic snap. Um, that's going to free up a lot of commands for you and a lot of the subcommands come up pretty, pretty, um, pretty easily for you. I'm going to point out, especially I'm drafting here at home with a five button mouse. I would recommend any one of you that's uh, getting to go in drafting, no matter what program you're working on, you get a five button mouse or more uh, and learn to program it. So we'll see how I do with this here. Remember, we've got the workspace in the 2D drafting and annotation. We've say, I haven't saved this yet, but we should open, set our environment correct, a new file, save as. I'm just going to learn to push that and get rid of as much of that toolbar as I can, of the ribbon as I can, and then have a couple of things up. If you remember, right click in this gray space takes us to all the AutoCAD toolbars. We have draw, we have modify, I'm going to turn off modify two, and I think we learned very often to do very quickly a view, so I'll leave that one up. Make a box to start bigger than what you think you're going to draft, and I've got the dynamic off. I've got all my toggles off here, including the quick properties. I'm going to click a box here, left click, and I'm going to make this box about at 9.8, 6.8. And you see, again, I was using the key in relative coordinates from the last point, 9.8 over and 6.8 up. Escape, 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 Z space, E space. Z space E space and then wheel out a little bit if you would. Now we're going to draft inside of there and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the dynamic and you're going to start to see how this acts a little bit differently. Now the dynamics going to really work in conjunction with having your all your settings right. So you remember we can do a lot from the right click on the mouse or shift right click and we going down to the bottom, which you don't see here, but object snap settings. And you see you have all of these settings that you can have set as you go along, turning them on and off. Snap and grid, polar tracking, object snap, dynamic input, and how you go ahead and set it up, and then quick properties. So one habit we're not going to want to break is that fact that we're going to just leave these off until we really get used to doing that shift right click. But now I'm going to go ahead and with the dynamic on I'm going to show you what it starts to look like as we go ahead and draw a line and I'll just kind of go around a little bit in a circle here and show you the different ways you can do dynamic input. There is a lot to doing this. It's more about efficiency than it is about exactness and like I said before and I'll repeat a couple more times, you're much better off if you're trying to put in exact numbers to very often do them with a dynamic off and just input them at the command line using the at from last point, commas for relative coordinates in a Cartesian, and the less than for relative coordinates in polar. If you do not use an at, it gives you an absolute coordinate. And we want to remember to always start knowing what our positive x is a positive Y and then a positive angle. So I'm going to start by making just a four foot line along the bottom here. I'm clicking the line there. I could go up to the draw line or I can just hold down my mouse if you remember and go line here. What you see is right away it's asking you at the screen where you want to put things and you can either click them with a left click or I could tell it I want to put them at two tab two and hit a return. If I hit a tab then it finishes and hit a return. It's put them down at two two which was an absolute coordinate down there. Now if you remember I just kind of arbitrarily drew that box out there and so that's really not anything I really want to do. Hit an escape key here and try it again. Hold down my right mouse button line. Now I'm just going to pick a point. You see what it's giving me is the coordinate readout of where my cursor is there. And now at this point, because of the settings I have, it is going to take the distance and then the angle off of the standard x-coordinate. So if I put in 5, 
tab 30 and hit a return, it will have drafted a line that was 5 long at an angle of 30. If I now put in to tab 45 tab, it drafted it up to where I want it and hit a return here, it will have drafted that second leg to where it needs to be. Now, what it's taking, it's taking because of the setting, it is taking the polar in terms of distance and angle instead of X's and Y's. I can change that by saying it at 2 comma 2 and it drafted a line up at 2 2 I'll do it again at minus 4 comma minus 3 and it's going ahead and taking these so you can see you can start to coordinate uh, depending on how you input coordinates and everything you're doing there is off of the last point it's all relative so we'll experiment a little bit with that. I just want to show you little differences to that. What it also does, if you notice here, it says select next point or pull down. And so if you go take your hand and use the, the down arrow, you start to see the different options that you have. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one we haven't done up to now, and that's close. Now, the dynamic input for moving around, I still, again, prefer this down here, but it does have a lot of good potential. What the dynamic input is great is, for instance, in having choices of other commands. So I'm going to write again, or the subcommands with one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to offset lines outside of these kind of four lines that I draw, and I'm going to offset them two feet. Remember, hold down your mouse, hit offset, and now you see, specify offset distance or down arrow. So if I can go down arrow, if I click, I have a set of choices that I can click up and down through. So I can, instead of putting in the distance, I can say through. I'm toggling down to there. And what I can do is also, I could have just pulled that down. I'll do it through that distance there. And I can hit right click and end my command. Again, right click offset pull this down I've clicked I've hit the down arrow there and I can go through again and I can go through a point there through a point there I'm left clicking over left clicking over so what you'll see is that you've by having the dynamic on, you do have a lot. The, the choices that you see are there, and they're available by pull down with the, the down arrows. There's also a lot more there available with dynamic. I'm going to go ahead and just try something we haven't done much of, and that is the circle here. Remember, the circle, I'm going to right click, is not on that list. It was purposely left off because it's something you want to have a forced choice of. We can go ahead and click here and realize we have a bunch of choices on our circle. I'm going to draw a three-point circle. Remembering shift right click endpoint, shift right click endpoint, and perhaps shift right click endpoint. And I've drafted there a very large circle, if you would, going through three points. Hit escape, 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 Z space, E space, and you see how large that circle can be. Now, even with modify, if we go left click on the thing, right click, scale, you start to see, specify a base point, and then again a set of choices that you have. So it's a fundamentally different thing to do, but I do want you to get around and play around with it. Remember that in terms of being absolutely correct, you're going to be much better off without the dynamic. And we'll cut a couple more videos, and you'll really kind of discover what you can do with that. There's a lot you can do with the dynamic on. I'm not dissuading you. I just want you to get the math and the, the